What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Uh, we about to get into voice. Uh, Neek fans leaked old videos and pics. Neek supporters were revealing King and Lena recent video. They post a four-year anniversary video, and then they changed the title to three-year anniversary when people in the comments were saying that he was with Neek four years ago. But something still don't seem right because Elena said this in a previous alive. You came like December second, y'all. December second, we started talking. Started talking. We ain't meet till January. We ain't get serious till February. We spent Valentine's Day together. Right. That's the end of the story. Like that's really all it is. So according to Lena's video, she says she started talking to King December second, twenty twenty. King and Lena met January twenty twenty one. King and Lena got serious February twenty twenty one. Ocean was conceived March April twenty twenty one. June twenty twenty one. They made a family channel. They ended up posting their first video July twenty twenty one. They announced Lena was pregnant with Ocean twenty twenty one. So how? your anniversary june 2021 if you said that you got serious with king february 2021 so shouldn't your anniversary be february 2021 or are you calculating from when you first actually met? wait what hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all on they ass. They don't seem right because Elena said this in a previous alive. You came like December second, y'all. December second, we started talking. December second, they started talking. December second, twenty twenty. Started talking. We ain't meet till January. They didn't meet till January. We ain't get serious till February. They didn't get serious till February, and this is February twenty twenty one. Valentine's Day together. Right. That's the end of the story. They spent Valentine's Day together. Okay. Like, that's really all it is. So, according to Lena's video, she says she started talking to King December 2nd, 2020. King and Lena met January 2021. King and Lena met Jane. Huh? Together. Right. That's the end of the story. Like, that's really all it is. So, according to Lena's video, she says she started talking to King December 2nd, 2020. King right. King and Lena met January 2021. Right. King and Lena got serious February 2021. Right. Ocean was conceived March, April 2021. June. Wait, 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 wait. Got serious February 2021. Ocean was conceived March, April. Ocean was conceived March, April 2022, not 2021. January 3rd, 2022 at 1121. 2021. June 2021, they made a family channel. They June 2021, they made a family channel. Wait, 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 wait. Nine months apart is in... Wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> So they met. Officially, January 2021. If they met, and they made official January 2021. They ended up posting March, on, April. On. And the baby was conceived January 3rd, 2022. That's not nine months. Lena liked his pics on June 18th, 2020. The baby was born January 3rd, 2022. Help me. Somebody help. Yes, I'm confused as hell. <laughs> so explain it. 2021 june 2021 they made a family channel they ended up posting their first video july 2021 they announced lena was pregnant with ocean 2021 so how is your anniversary june 2021 if you said that you got serious with king Fer she was conceived in 20 baby can baby conceived 2021 conceive means that when he nutted in her friend <laughs> okay thanks blaze conceived in july okay Conceive me made. Okay, okay, okay. February 2021. So shouldn't your anniversary be February 2021? Or are you calculating from when you first actually met him, allegedly, in 2020? Now, a lot of people in the comments were pointing some things out, like the last time Neek and King did a video together on their channel. Back in July 2020, King said that he wanted an open relationship and he wanted to invite another woman in their relationship. Another thing people were pointing out in the comments is Ashley. Remember, she knew about Lena way before we did, and she said when she looked on her page she saw old pictures of king and lena together one day i'm just chilling and i'm on tiktok and i see the video of them doing the you know whatever dance that little dance i see them doing that on tiktok and i'm like oh you know i'm just say like, 19 year old okay. joshua Wood 
So my friend, she sees it too. And so, you know, your friends are always going to be the messy ones. Your friends are always going to be the one to be like, girl, you ain't got to go look. I'm going to go look. Y'all know y'all friends. I'm going to go look. So I guess she went digging, found the girl's page. And um, she looked at her story. She was like, girl, they've been talking. She was like, she posted, oh, um, throwbacks to them. And yes, I saw them too. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. What day was this? Um, she posted old throwbacks to them. So that's why I'm confused when they say that they started talking in December. I don't know. People are saying in the comments that Ashley probably was the one that took the hit publicly, but Lena was probably the person that he was actually in love with and cared about and was actually talking to, but he didn't want her to take the hit because it would have been kind of crazy if he would have came out with Lena so quickly like that because people would have been like, Lena probably was here all along. Y'all leave my comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Neek show basketball wise, Olanda will not be returning for a second season. The network decided not to pick up the show because when they first started out in the season, the viewership was high but then as time went along in the season the viewership did go down the last episode had less than 200,000 so they decided not to pick up the show I don't even think Nick would have returned because she said it was unnecessary drama in her life so yeah Diara took a few top influencers on a brand trip to Mexico to celebrate and share her new collection that's dropping June 27th I'm excited the influencer girlies were also gifted a $700 bracelet as appreciation for supporting and promoting the brand so I love that for them you offer influence the girl and keep up the good work that you all are doing. I'm not gonna lie, she is working, okay? And thank you all for supporting Lorve, L-O-R-V-A-E. Yeah. <laughs> DDG revealed that he will be showing his son's face soon. Might be seeing his face soon because he's a handsome young man and I feel like I'm doing a disservice to the world. The real reason why his face haven't been shown yet is because I don't want to make any other babies that watch my vlogs insecure. <laughs> you know, a lot of babies come out not to be mean, but a lot of babies are ugly when they're first born. <laughs> you know, fortunately, my son came out already handsome, fresh out. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I had a talk with Halo and I was like, man, like, I want to show you to the world and shit, but I don't want, I don't want you to automatically pop out being hated, you know, because I go through hate every day on the Internet, all day long. And I don't want my son to grow up in that light. So, you know, I had a talk with him and he agreed with me. He said, yeah, I feel you. Like, <laughs> I see a lot of babies on Instagram and they not up to par like me. And I would hate to like, you know, that's why I, I kind of like wear like Target shirts around y'all and stuff. When I Yanni recently He's revealed a so sonogram. Stupid. If you don't remember, she used to be in Deshae Frost vlogs. And she got Deshae Frost named Tatted, which recently before she got pregnant, she got his name covered. But she recently announced that she is pregnant by Troy. Now her and Troy do a lot of pranks. So people thought this was a prank for a very long time. But she revealed yesterday with a real sonogram that she is indeed pregnant. Now the reason why people are upset is because Troy is 17 and Yanni is 20. Y'all leave your comments down oh, below. Let me know what y'all think when it comes to that. But Jessica and Melma was seen in Disney uh, World holding hands. What the fuck? <laughs> and so what despite that? everything that came out about Runic, they are still together. So y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Chris Brown fan. I think he's a better fit for her. Like you could tell, like, especially watching that video earlier, she got a lot of trauma and stuff. And his brother, who was at the front door? Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. Google home me. Google home, me. Somebody at the front door. Oh, I don't know. Tell, tell, tell them to leave the car with us. Can you leave your car with us, sir? So I can call you back on that. Okay, thank you. Cause I don't, I don't want you, cause I don't want you to set something up and then, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm up here working. So just tell them I'm, I'm going to call them. Uh huh. Yeah. I heard everything though. Tell them, tell them we'll be giving them a call soon. Okay. She said she's going to call you soon. She wants to make sure that she does everything. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. What's wrong with you, nigga? All right. Um, my bad. I just feel like, um, now the camera went out. Uh, I think that um, this girl has gone through a lot of trauma. And she needs a, a more of a softer guy. I don't know if he's soft. And I don't mean 
like a punk. I just mean a little more timid for her temperament still together so y'all leave y'all comments down below let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that chris brown fan finally speaks out after her meet and greet picture went viral because this guy came out claiming that this was his fiance and that he called off their engagement now a lot of people were saying that this picture was inappropriate because she's a fiance and that he should leave her and that she was wrong well the girl in this picture finally came out and said that was a lie and that she didn't even know this guy and that she is very much single and that she went to chris brown's concert with her mom so all those people that were dragging her owes her apology because she doesn't even know this man. This man lied. Last week it came out that Nelly had a three-year-old quote-unquote secret son. That's what the baby mama That's crazy. Told Tasha K. But recently someone pointed out that Nelly's oldest daughter posted son on IG for Christmas. So the people that needed to know, Nelly, Ashanti, and his family knew. <laughs> Waka Flocka revealed that he's single again and Tammy, his ex-wife, well, soon to be ex-wife, react when someone said, Tammy at home cheesing in a moo moo right now. Mm -hmm. I told you. <laughs> Tammy responded with a gif with a guy eating popcorn on a couch. <laughs> Catch that shade. <laughs> She shady as hell for that. Kim Kardashian fans are upset after her and Chloe took a picture with their daughters and Dream was in the middle after their performance, but no one was holding Dream and they didn't allow Black China to be present in the picture. Now, Black China haven't had the best relationship with the Kardashians, but people were expecting Kim and Chloe to be adults, at least for the children. Someone said, this is so upsetting, the fact that they paint a narrative that China is an absent mother. Someone said, like, I'm not expecting them to put their pettiness to the side and take a picture with Dream mom, but they could have at least hugged the little kid kid. Someone said, why didn't her aunts hug her at least if they refused to take a pit with her mom? Exactly. That child is still related to you. This is so upsetting. The fact that they paint a narrative that China is the absent mother because people assume after the Kardashian released their picture that China wasn't at the event, but she was. So Kylie Jenner just recently stepped out for fashion week and her look is trending. People are saying that her outfit looks a little bit off, like she can't breathe. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Them titties is a little pressed. Oh, let me know what y'all thinking. Princess, you gotta get that eight minute video. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.